was pedaling and I looked up and I could see, it was like it was slow motion. I could see the car and I was already on the car before, you know, I could even swerve, you know, to get out of the way. For the first time since a driver hit him atop his bike and took off, 51-year-old flight paramedic Perry Hookey is recovering at his Vacaville home. But I couldn't imagine somebody would do something like that. <laughs> do something like that. Hookey received major road rash, contusions, and required intubation to keep him breathing after suffering post-traumatic respiratory arrest. His bike nearly totaled. The collision happened at 545 last Sunday. Hookey says the driver ran a stop sign and hit him at Crystal Springs Drive and Vaca Valley Parkway. We've got kids out playing with their friends. We've got people out exercising. You've got people out walking their dogs, so that danger is always there. Officer Carly Stone took the initial report at Hookie's hospital bedside when he still couldn't talk. She later posted this video of him on social media to spread awareness. And I've been following up on the Facebook messages, the phone calls, the emails that I've gotten from people in our community. Hoping to find the car responsible, Officer Stone went door to door in the nearby neighborhood looking for surveillance video, and she found some. Potentially have some new things to look for from that. Throughout Hookie's painful recovery, the two have struck up a friendship. Hey! Oh, yeah. Officer Stone is now visiting Hookie at home to check on him. And if we can help out in some tiny way, then sometimes that can make a big difference. The two working toward the same goal, catching the driver who left Hookie behind. She didn't have to do any of what she did. It was, she just knew that this was wrong. That's got a police person you won't work in in your neighborhood. And luckily she's in my neighborhood. In Vacaville, Tom Miller, KCRA 3 News.